<laughs> what? What's going on, hey. all these buddies? It's me, Jacob, with another movie vlog video. We just got out of the movie theater and we just saw Jordan Peele's newest film, Us. Jordan Peele obviously made a huge splash a couple years ago with the destined to be horror classic, yeah. Get Out. Which Jamie just watched for the first time about a week ago and shot a video of a reaction. I'll leave a link to that in the yeah. description below. And us is Jordan Peele's newest film and it involves this uh, yeah, normal family wrong. Who, yeah they go on a vacation like Jamie says and things get crazy yeah. we're not gonna spoil anything else plot wise because oh. <laughs> Oh, we want to let if of course a lot of you probably seen this film already we're a week behind but if you have not seen us you gotta come in to us blind because oh. better walk in blind yeah because you, you need to be as surprised as possible as we are uh us was yeah one of those movies yeah <laughs> that's the best way to put it it's one of those movies it's a weird one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jordan Peele. Uh, I think there were a lot of critics who, after they saw Us, believed Jordan Peele to be the next Alfred Hitchcock. What do you think about that statement? Yeah, he could be the next uh, Hitchcock, if you think about it. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Hitchcock made some weird films in his day, and I think a lot of people, when they came out of it, had no idea what to think of them. I can't imagine what 1960s audiences fought when they saw Psycho for the yeah, first time. Yeah, they didn't want to take a shower for a week. I definitely don't want to go to the beach anytime soon. Well, we're not uh, beach bums in that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. We don't go to a beach very often. Yeah, but still... Uh, more of a camping kind of, uh, more camping kind of people. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. But, man, Jordan Peele knows how to direct a movie. This is his second movie, and he's, I think he topped himself. Yeah, I think he shocked out. the whole audience, like, oh, what? Oh, man, the, the theater experience of this film was Ooh. crazy. You need to go to a screening with a ton of people, because the reactions <laughs> to this movie were insane. <laughs> there were people that were... People were shocked, people were laughing, people were left speechless. Like, the shocking parts of the movie, the whole theater was silent. And then there were some other parts of the movie where you're like, Whoa! 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 What's happening? What's going on? It was... Oh, man. I... Definitely, if you want to see Get Out, watch it with a whole bunch of people. And it was a... Really neat experience. Uh, Jordan Peele's known for his uh, social commentary, too. It was interesting. I, I noticed the group of people in attendance tonight, and it was a good mix of white people, black people. We didn't care about politics or race. We just got together to watch a crazy horror film. I'm a big girl. I can handle horns. That don't let my height fool you, because I'm a short person and I'm 21 in real life. Yeah, we get that. But you kind of interrupted my little uh, peace out moment. Sorry, we'll proceed. Sorry, I had to do that. So we had white and black people, like a healthy mix, watching this film, and I was left thinking, yeah, if Jordan Peele's able to bring a huge mix of people together to watch a film. I think we can get along, right? Yeah, we can. Yeah. And hear a little flossing from Paddington. Yeah. Paddington? What's Paddington got to do oh, with you know, us? Yeah, remember the line I said in the second movie? If the world is kind of polite, we'll all be all right. There we go. Paddington and us have a connection now. <laughs> This is the most inconsistent video we've ever done. <laughs> so, 
Uh, I mean, I thought the cast uh, brought their A game. Lupita, Lupita Nyong'o, I think, was the standout of this film. Yeah, she played Black Panther's girlfriend. She can handle a mess that movie like us. Yeah, I think this might be the best performance I have seen her in. I think. I don't think she's given a performance that belling, I don't think, since 12 Years a Slave. And I was blown slave. away. You hadn't seen 12 Years a Slave? Dude! 12 Years a Slave. Really good movie. That one's just as messed up in a different way. So, so Lupita was great. I, I enjoyed Winston Duke as well, and I'm not going to think of Winston Duke the same way again, yeah. thanks woo, to... Woo, woo. Yeah, you, you forget he's M'Baku from Pipe Pepper. Ah! Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after seeing us. <laughs> Completely different personality. Yeah. Ooh, and, and I'll be the first to say it. Jordan Peele can make the Beach Boys sound creepy. Yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna spoil the scene, but he, he did the impossible and made the Beach Boys sound creepy. Now every time I hear good vibrations... Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think he was onto something there because of the... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the music, I think, was an important factor in making us stand out. I mean, that score... I got goosebumps. Oh. <laughs> yeah, especially some of the choral music in that. And it definitely, I think, represented our deepest fears. All right. So how are we going to talk about us without spoiling some of the twists? I, I will say this. I don't know what to think of it. I was left speechless yeah. at some of the final reveals. Some of it I thought, you know, I kind of predicted some of the twists. I'm like, nah, they're not going to do this. And then they do it, and I'm like, what? What? They went, they did it. And I'm still, I'm still left puzzled. I'm like, how does this work? Uh I think the last time I had this reaction to a horror film with an out-of-the-box twist, The Shining, I still don't I know what... I saw the, that movie once. Yeah, and remember, we saw the end of The Shining, and yeah. we, we both didn't know what to think of how that movie ended. This is our reaction here. Yeah, and this is what it was with us. Uh... <sighs> Wow, Jordan Peele's a cross between Hitchcock and Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> uh, I've been looking forward to seeing Pet Cemetery. Yeah, there are some interesting horror movies coming out in 2019 in there. Pet Cemetery, uh, La Llorona, Ma. Yeah, it's where Spencer's <laughs> at her darkest. <laughs> yeah, there's interesting looking horror films. <laughs> oh, then Annabelle comes home. Oh, yeah. What? All right, so it's hard rating us, isn't it? Yeah. You're. I'm so a little shocked, actually. I'm hoping to get a good night's sleep. This is what oh, I get for oh. watching horror movies at night. Oh, you fear you're going to go see a uh, the dark version of yourself. It depends on the movie you see. Yeah, because that's... But remember on Land night, um... <laughs> you want to go to bed afterwards and you fear, uh, there's going to be crazy wacko in your room waiting to kill you. Mm. I tend to look at horror movies as crazy entertainment. Yeah, so do I. They, they can creep me out, but at the end of the day, I'm like... It's just a movie. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. And I, I, I will be like that with Us, but I think Us is a very smartly written horror film. Uh, it definitely, sh th there's a lot of themes in there. I, I think there's a lot of allegories you can make with what Jordan Peele was trying to tell. 
Eh, obviously, I, I can't go into full detail on that because this is supposed to be spoiler free. But the movie, I think, is a really trippy little reflection of the deepest fears within ourselves and how we take those fears in the real world. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best way of putting it. It has to like fear of bees for a while because I got some by a wasp. But I'm over that now. <laughs> okay. I was laughing. <laughs> Give me a break. Well, that's why my hand was. You uh, I'm have... not allergic. So the dark side of yourself uh, wants you to exterminate all bees. Oh. Okay. Sad if uh, not having bees won't have any honey. You've been watching too much bee movie. No. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> eating my tea. Don't we're, mind that. We're definitely going off tangent here. <laughs> and besides, uh, we all need flowers. Okay. Alright, so I dug the film. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure what to rate this movie, honestly. Uh, not sure about all the twists. Yeah, there's twists where you want to think. Yeah, I, I like twists where you think, where you have to process the movie and figure out what the heck just happened. But yeah, it kind of makes our review very sloppy because. I'm not sure how I'm going to rate it, and I'm sure you have a similar opinion there. I uh, should do. Can you think of a rating off the top of your head so we can end this video? Well, probably the same rating I would give uh, Get Out. Five stars. Oh, you, okay. You're going there. Yeah. So, so you see how impressive this film was. Yeah, I like Get Out, Jordan Peele thinks. Yeah, Jordan Peele has an interesting little mind. I'm really curious about what he's going to make next because he's now an A-list director thanks to this and Get Out. Uh, Us had one of the biggest opening weekends of all time for a horror film. So they're going to allow him to do whatever he wants now. And I am happy for that. Oh, yeah. After Us and Get Out, I think Jordan Peele knows the kind, the strengths, his strengths as a director. And I think he's going to find interesting little ways to make bold social statements while also being entertaining and taking a lot of chances. And I like that the themes are interesting, but they never come off as too preachy or on the nose. I like how he leaves it up to interpretation. Get Out. Yeah. Get Out did it with race relations and us is us is kind of an allegory of our deepest fears in the really strange era we're living in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely a, we're in a renaissance of horror movies, and yeah, us is definitely up there for me. Still trying to process the twist, though. I, I think it's kind of neat that... Yeah. It's neat that we don't know all the answers and Jordan Peele wants us to figure it out on our own. Yeah, because, a little brain teaser. Yeah. Who knows? I might make a follow-up video about dissecting the twists in mm -hmm. Us. Don't, don't have that much time this week. I have a busy work schedule, but maybe on further revisits, I'll let you yeah, know. I'll, yeah. I'll try to dissect the twist, uh, but it'll take a while. Uh, I think for me, yeah, I think I'm going to go five as well. Uh, I, I really liked... Okay. I really dug the vibe of this film. I love what Jordan Peele was going for. Top-notch film. And yeah, I think Jordan Peele... He might be the next Alfred Hitchcock. But I don't want to be too cocky in that statement. Because a generation ago, M. Night Shyamalan had two movies in. And people were calling him the next Hitchcock. And then look what happened to him. Mm-hmm. Disappeared for a while. 
Oh, actually, his movies weren't up to par. Oh, okay. He didn't disappear for a while. Oh, sorry. What was I thinking? So, hopefully, Jordan Peele has a good hot streak. And on the 100-point scale, I am going to give us... 92 out of 100. That was our first reaction of the film. Don't we're, we're still wrapping our brains around this one, but I'm, I really love the vibe we got. And yeah. let us know down in the comments below what you thought of us. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? Because it's a divisive film among audiences. And, and if there's comments in any of my videos that I like, I will share them in a comment shout out in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and click the little bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides vlog videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, and other fun stuff along the way. Have some more videos planned for you soon. I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Bye.